Okay, help me out with something. I'm really stumped here. What I've got here is a 230 watt used panel. It is connected to an EP Ever solar charge controller. We're pulling in, according to the Victron, 159 watts. All well and good. Problem is, if I connect it to that 230 watt panel, it's the same thing, same label right here. I'm getting about 190. So I'm, I'm missing out on about 30 watts here, and I'm not sure why. So let me run through my troubleshooting that I've done, and y'all tell me what I'm missing. Here in the back, I know there's the diodes. And if one of these was shorted out or damaged, it would cause a problem. And these aren't needed if there's no shade. So I pulled all the diodes out, and I was still getting the 160 watts. So that wasn't it. So then I thought, well, maybe one of the three uh, rows, columns, are bad. So, of course, you know, that's a column, that's a column, that's a column. So I tried shading each one individually, and that didn't seem to affect anything oddly. Um, then I was like, oh, well, let me just try shorting them out. So what I did, thing stuck. So I stuck this up in here, and I would short out one column at a time. So what would happen is the watch is going to drop down into the one, I think it's like 105, 106 is what it's going to settle down to. Um, and what, what's going on is the solar charge controller is bringing the voltage for the panel down to about 17 volts instead of being up in the 25 volt range. So there we are, settled in 108 watts. So I did that for every single one. So this one, 108 watts. And we'll go do it with this one. 108 watts. So every single column of this panel is acting the same. Okay, so maybe the whole panel is bad, right? So then I do um, open circuit and short circuit Open circuit voltage and short circuit current. Let's do that real quick. Okay, so measuring, just knock my weed out. Give me. Open circuit voltage, 34.9. These are rated for 37. And this is the same voltage I'm getting on my other panel that's operating just fine. So that seems fine. So now short circuit current 8.4 amps, and with it not on there, it's at 0.15, zero that out, 8.5 amps. And if we look here, short circuit current is 8.43, so we're actually getting more than the panel's rated for. And that's what's really throwing me for a loop. How can the short circuit current and the voltage open circuit measure perfect individually but then the panel's not producing. I'm missing 30 watts somewhere. And it doesn't seem like a whole lot, but it's, it's really bugging me. When I was testing between the two panels, I did make sure that they were both at the same angle. In fact, I would just set one on top of the other so that it was exactly the same angle to the sun and went back and forth, ABA. Um, there's definitely wattage missing. And I did replace the MC4 connectors on the panel side. So that's not it either using the same charge controller for both tests. All right, I've got this panel that's been sitting here for probably about 20 minutes or so. It's short-circuited right now. It's connected to itself, as you can see there. And I thought, well, why don't I grab the thermal camera and see what that shows. That doesn't look good. There is a hot spot, which would be resistance, I guess. So it's probably where it's coming from. What's interesting is that that hot spot appears to involve two different columns of cells, unless this one's getting hot just because this one's hot. But if that was the case, wouldn't the one above it be getting hot as well? And it's still fairly cool. This thing gets thrown off a little bit about by glass 
but I can come around and view this from a different angle and it's definitely still hot back there. I wonder what the back side reads compared to the front. <laughs> About the same. So, yeah. That's cool. I think I found my problem.